I was a Healy at the Indian Wells event um, just before COVID. Um, I am also a Healy from Niagara Falls. Um, I went and I had a wonderful um, healing at Niagara Falls and um, I know that the sickness was removed from my body in Niagara Falls, but the tumors were still left in my spine. And I was walking around with the tumors still that caused a great amount of pain. One of them was large enough that you could see protruding from my clothing. Um, the other was small enough um, that you couldn't really see, but that was the one that caused the greatest amount of pain. When I had got the email about to be a, a request to be a Healy or a Coherence Healing, I filled out the application again. So I put in my application and um, I didn't hear anything um, back and I thought to myself, okay, well, maybe I just have to let that one go. And I got to the event. My coach came up to me, I was sitting in a chair and she came up and she sat next to me and she handed me a coin and the coin said, um, deserving on it. And that was something that I struggled with. Um, I looked at the coin and she told me I was going to be selected. I was selected to receive a healing on the last day. Um, I was told before that those tumors were forgiveness trapped in my body, that um, I knew how to forgive others, but I didn't know how to forgive myself. And I had worked, and I'd used this work for so long that I knew if I was just given the opportunity that I would, I would be able to do it. I told myself and I told Source, please, please, I know I'm worthy of letting this go now. I don't want to walk with this anymore. I'm worthy of forgiveness. I'm worthy of letting this go. I'm worthy of being free of this. That I no longer have to carry those things anymore. That it was a long time ago. That they no longer belong to me. They weren't my fault. I didn't hear angels sing, nothing touched me. Not, none of those things happened, not like Niagara Falls. I remember hearing Dr. Joe. I remember sitting up and I, looking at the cage around me and I connected with this woman. She looked right at me and when I went to embrace her, she whispered in my ear, she said, you were so deserving of this. And I knew, I knew that was something more divine, speaking through her and speaking to me. The next thing I know, uh, when I went to get up and I realized, oh my gosh, my belongings are in the Healy room and I need to hurry up and go because my purse is in there. And I, I had this little panic attack, like my wallet, all those personal things are in there. So I, I went to hurry up and stand up didn't pay attention that it didn't hurt me to stand up what it always did and so i quickly started to walk to the healy room and when i got to the healy room i went to bend over and pick up my purse and i went to bend over and pick up my purse and that didn't hurt and i went oh my god that didn't hurt so i reached back and when i reached back the the largest mass was completely gone it was completely gone so I went, there was nobody else in the room and I had no one else to tell like, oh my God, it was gone. So I was like, I was in panic. I was like, okay, I gotta get to my group. I know my group's over there meeting. So I grabbed my purse and I just ran and then I'm, I'm running and I'm going, oh my God, I'm running. Oh my God, I'm running and I haven't ran in years. So I'm running to my group and I'm, my group is talking and I didn't mean to be rude, but I had to, and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to tell you, I have to tell you. Everybody in my group knew those tumors were there, the beginning of the event. And I said, they're gone. The, 
the, the, the big one is gone. I, f I still felt the small one, but I said, the big one is gone, it's gone. And I, she had me come up to the center of the group and I showed them, I'm like, look, it's gone, it's gone. The next morning, I was sitting in an Airbnb that I had gotten with a group of us that we'd had all been to Niagara Falls with, and um, they were all still asleep. I was, I couldn't sleep. I was so high on, on life. I was so in love with just everything that had happened that I had experienced, and I was trying to digest everything. Like, how did that even happen? And the next thing I know, I, like in this back of my head right here, I not with my ears, I didn't hear it with my ears, but in my head I heard, go lay down. So there's this little patch of grass where I was at and I went and I laid down facing up and it said, turn over. So I laid down on my stomach and I put my hands on my down and I put my head on my hands and the next thing I know, something literally grabbed my hips. It was shaking my hips like this back and forth, 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 back and forth. And it did this for I don't know how long. It was just shaking it back and forth, back and forth. And then just stopped. It didn't say anything else to me. It just stopped. So I kind of was looking around like, okay, and I was waiting for like, you told me to lay down. I'm waiting for another instruction. Didn't get it. So I just kind of took a breath and I got up on all fours and then I reached behind me and I felt for the second one and the second one was gone. I was beside myself, thought to myself, how was that possible? I remember calling everybody out. I remember waking up the entire house. I remember not caring that everybody was asleep, telling them that, oh my God, the second one is gone. I felt magical. I felt worthy of. It was a gift beyond measure.